So in music, when building chords, we all know that the more notes you have, the more responsibility you have to move them appropriately. This holds true no matter how many notes. I'm going to take a 2-5-1 just using triads, just using simple three-part harmony. Every note has somewhere to go. It's simple. This holds true even when you just add one more note to the chord, making them seven chords. Every note still has somewhere to go. But what if we take a more daunting chord, something like a F sus4 major 7 over A flat. Now that's like a pretty daunting chord, it's a pretty hefty chord. This can also be another teaching moment of how to get out of another sticky situation, combining two topics I've already talked about. Um, so let's just start from the root up. This A flat, we know it's the fifth of D flat, so we can just bring it down to D flat. It'll just be a five to one, it's good. But what about this F right here? Well, we know that F is the major third of the D flat chord, so we'll just keep the F there, simple. And then we have this B flat up in the, as the sus four. Well, we can just bring it down to an A flat, a whole step lower, because we know that A flat is the fifth of a D flat chord. And then we have this C up here as the fifth. Well, we can just keep it there because we know that C is the major seven of a D flat chord. And then we have this E up here. It's a really nasty sounding note. Well, the only thing I can really think to do with it, you can either bring it up to an F, but that wouldn't be as fun. So we're going to bring the E down to an E flat, because we know that E flat is the 9 of a D flat chord. So with all that work being done, we have this F sus4 major 7 over A flat going down to a D flat major 9. <sighs> Sounds good. Wait, I'm going to see if I I'm going to see if I can do it a little better. Every note has somewhere to go, and we got out of a pretty sticky situation just using logical thinking from the root up. I'm having too much fun with this.